Well, we are tracking showers and a few thunderstorms headed our way. Now, these are going to be periodic. It's not going to be a washout totally tomorrow, nor will it be on Wednesday. But off and on, little bands of scattered showers and a few thunderstorms will pass Tuesday and Wednesday. I think before it's all said and done, about a half to one inch of rain area wide, though I can't rule out perhaps a couple isolated locations getting over one inch of rainfall. And then it turns warmer and more humid, especially late this next upcoming weekend. 77 at 7 o'clock this evening, 65 by 1, only headed for about 60 to 65 tonight. We're back in the low 70s by 11 a.m. tomorrow, and nothing more than an isolated sprinkle, a very light shower in our southwest this evening. Otherwise, we'll stay dry, but the clouds will be on the increase tonight with some of the rain coming in overnight. 60 Winnemac to 64 Covington, 62 Lafayette, Frankfort, and Mulberry, and tomorrow highs in the 70s area wide. 74 from Thorntown to Romney, 75 Lafayette, 77 at Winnemac and Rochester. And on Wednesday, highs in the 70s again, generally about 75 to 80. Those 74 at Logansport and Winnemac, 77 Lafayette, and 79 degrees at Pine Village. There's our bowling ball, if you will. There's our storm that's working eastward. And you can see all the showers and thunderstorms associated with it. And as it kind of moves eastward, it'll send kind of spiraling bands of rainfall northward our, uh, our way. And you can see that on our high risk future cast product. This is 240 tonight. We are going overcast over most of the viewing area. And that first band of some rainfall starts to come in tomorrow morning. That's 7 a.m. Notice how it puts it into the Lafayette, West Lafayette area. Continues to move northward, kind of falls apart on the north end. But at 10 o'clock in the morning, still some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms around. And through the afternoon, this is 1 and 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Again, just little bands of scattered showers and thunderstorms with about 50% coverage. And then another little band kind of pivots up from the southeast tomorrow night. That's 9 p.m. And finally, about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, early, early Wednesday morning, notice still some banding of some scattered showers and thunderstorms. So you get the idea here. Right into Wednesday and right into Wednesday afternoon, everything is going to be kind of pivoting around that low that's southeast of our viewing area. The good news is it's not going to bring any severe weather. That's going to stay southeast of us. And then the low pulls away. And actually, Thursday doesn't look bad. The warm front will try to lift northward. So it will be a little warmer on Thursday. But then Friday, as this little wave comes through, we may pick up a few scattered showers and storms Friday morning. But Friday afternoon looks fine, and eventually we'll get into a hotter pattern, perhaps even a little severe weather next week with the first 90s, first widespread 90s anyway, of the season coming. 74, cast a little warmer Thursday at 84, 81 Friday, a few morning showers and storms, and then it starts to heat up. We see more typical latter June pattern develop with highs up or 80s by Monday. Okay, nice to get some more rainfall, though, I we think. We need it. Things looking good and green. Yeah, there. they are. All right, thanks, sure. Just ahead.